Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Etrian Odyssey 4. Well, while you're away, I have mapped... I have mapped out the entirety of Lush Woodlands B2F. Just so I won't have to map it in the video. Anyway, let's... Anyway, let's head... Let's head there, shall we? But not before getting into a million, gazillion, bajillion random encounters! Yay! Don't run away, don't run away, don't run away. There! Nice. Let's go this way. And go down the stairs. Another random encounter. Oh, new enemy! A big roller. These. Yeah, uh, big rollers are a bastard to fight. The thing about them is, you they can deal insane amounts of damage. If, if you're not prepared. And look at me, not prepared. But the thing is, you, you kind of have to, you kind of have to fight them if you want to obtain a very useful sword. Oh, we're dead. That is, un unless I can escape. No, I can't. Oh yes. You have so what you have to do is grab the attention of this cutter and he'll break that and he'll bust your way through for you. But we're not going through there just yet. We have to get this chest and get the aim hammer. And I just realized I mapped the part of the map absolutely wrong, and there. Oops, straight guard. How about region walls? Oh. There. Pfft. 
and Dylan's dead. Yeah, we, we still got that one nectar we can use. There. Yeah, uh, now we're getting to the real challenge that Etrian Odyssey is known for. Then we go through here, and there is a chop point here. That's nice. Anyway. These are enemies we've seen before, so just less so we're just gonna pop. Oh I'm really out of TP. Not gonna waste my Amrita. It's it's the only one I have. And the only one I will have for quite a while. And once we open the door, we'll be greeted with this. When you open the door and enter the hall, you're faced with battered armor scattered everywhere. At the center of these blood-stained heaps is a beast whose fur is stained crimson. This can only be the Redford beast rumored to be attacking soldiers and explorers. Have a care, for the beast's eyes are narrowed, just narrowed as it readies itself for your approach. And we're not going to fight this guy just yet. Because it's super strong, and yeah, we're not ready. We got the arm hammer. Aim hammer and arm hammer. Nice. And I have to go all, and I have to walk all the way back to town because I forgot to buy an Ariadne thread like the stupid idiot dumb dumb I am. At least the further we go along back to town, the smoother the, the path is. What you just saw there, the that was the mandrake getting blinded because of Lily's blinding piercer. Fight our way through this battle. And we won that battle, and everyone except Lily will level up. Let's allocate their skill points. Gavin has over 100 max HP now. Nice. Gavin will get another point to taunt, unlocking auto taunt. Taunt may activate at the start of battle. That's what Auto Taunt does. I will get another point in Fan Dance because you, really it's impossible to dodge too much. And Dylan will get his first damage dealing move, Heavy Strike.
Antonio can get Steel Arrow. Unlocking Silver Arrow in the Veteran section. And... Let's try to wait for, for one last random encounter. Oh. Before we head back to town. Let's have a stay at the inn. Gotta make sure before everything else you you have enough money to have a stay at the inn. Oh, we got her the aim hammer and the arm hammer. Ever since you started coming to this shop, you've sold us plenty of junk. But I got a little tip for that. She proceeds to explain it to you. Basically, you can hold the Y button to sell a lot of stuff you have in your in your pockets. But I've been doing that basically the entire time, so that's not very useful. See? Easy, ain't it? So go load up on junk threads and then come back to sell all in one go. And that I will do right now. Whee! So, we got another sword for, for Lily, and you know what, since we have, we have the materials to do it, we'll get it for myself as well. Sell so these items. Let's buy the short bow for Antonio. And sell his beast bow. Let's save our game. And go back down there. This game honestly looks really good for the 3DS. And and it's and it's one of my favorite games that I've ever played. Oh hey, look, it's monsters. And they're all dead. What did he do? And let's go this way. Oh, rare breed. Oh god. Boom. And with that bonus of EXP, Lily can level up. More Blazing Link.
Oh god, run, 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 run. Oh god, that was scary. Did you see how low my health got? And... We've wasted enough time. Let's go and fight the blood bear. The blood bear is the first boss of the game, and honestly, he's pretty difficult. So we might want to defend right away. So Lily can use Vanguard. Let's have Gavin use Taunt. I'll use Region Waltz. Dylan can use Lion Heal. Oh, I accidentally made Antonio defend. Lily will use Power Break. Strike. Gavin can use Strike Guard. I'll use Attack Tango. Dylan will use Heavy Strike. I made him defend again. Alright, Dylan, use, um... Long shot. Nice! One turn! Boom! Basically, after, for two turns, the Blood Bear will continue charging up. And then they'll unleash a deadly attack called Ruinous Strike that will kill at least three people on their team. However, if you deal enough damage, which is around 200 damage, you can actually cause them to flinch and not use the attack. That is fantastic. Line heal. No, not that line, this line. And Antonio can use. I really love this battle theme. Long shot. Power break effect on the enemy wore off, so... Now the attack's gonna be uber powerful. Boom! And the Blood Bear attempted to escape. Which means we will get no experience from that. The Redford Beast. Finding itself at a disadvantage, suddenly flees. It charges towards a nearby wall. After instantly tearing the wall apart with its sharp claws, it passes into the space beyond. You are left stunned by its speed, but its path is marked by traces of blood leading to a stairway downward. It seems there are even f lower reaches to the lush woodlands. You hesitate to call your objective complete yet. You know you must eventually pursue it, but it may also be wise at this point to return to Tharsis. 
damn it, I forgot to buy the Riyadh thread again. Why did they all go after me? What did I do? We're gonna... And of course, we're out of Nectars, so... That means no more reviving. Let us escape, please, please. There. Oh, that's right. Revive me. And now stay. Now we sell all our stuff. No. Anyway, um, now that that's done, we're going back to to the lush woodlands. And this time, we're defeating that damn blood bear. But not before wiping the floor with everything else in our path. Another encounter. More monsters. Is our health fully restored? Yes, it is. I'm telling you guys. Patch up, best skill in the game. And let's go down the steps. Eventually, you reach a small room with a spring. Near it is a red fur beast, licking its wounds. On seeing you, it gives a threatening snarl. It seems it has no intention of fleeing this time. When you are ready, step forward and let your second round begin. And we're ready. Ready it will we're ready as I'll as we'll ever be. Defend, 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 defend.
Lock on. Dango. I'm sorry, I'm intensely focusing. Crit, nice crit. Nice. This battle music is amazing. I love it. And we defeated the Blood Bear. And got rending and got their rending claw. The Redford Beast falls before the onslaught of your fierce attacks. You have defeated a, a noble foe. A, 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 a powerful foe. At the request of the nobility, no less. But your joy is short-lived. For suddenly, a beastly roar shakes the entire maze. The sadness and anger of losing a comrade is unmistakable in that deafening roar. One after another, you hear answering roars from other beasts. You stand there, stunned, as the roars die down. The succession of roars is disturbing, but not so much as that first howl. It was very different from the others. You think there can be no doubt that something on this level far surpasses the thrill of the blood bear. Anyway, with that... With that, I, I think we're going to call it for the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.